about almost a week that I haven't filmed anything and I wanted to come on here and film with you film for you guys and my how do I use my U shape um wig and as you can see I did dye it green and I had that as a you know my first thoughts of it my first impressions of this one um I did do a video of it and so if you haven't watched that video please check that one out as well um this is the sunny U part wig um half wig U part U part half wig and um, I went ahead and um, wanted to kind of show you how I put mine on. I know there's multiple ways if you go online or go on YouTube, you can find multiple different ways on how you would do it. But I wanted to kind of show you how I put it on and style it. Um, so anyway, so without further ado, let me go ahead and let's start. So as you can see, I have my hair in a ponytail. I put it down and again with a U part wig you know you can you tuck in a lot of this hair and that's the beauty of a U part wig um so you don't have to use all your hair now with this wig what I do is I just kind of look at the top of my hair here and I just kind of poke it I kind of just go ahead and pick this up first because I'm going to put my you I want to clip it around here so then I, so what I'll do is to get this out of the way I will clip it as here now some women some women just go ahead and just pull everything back I don't I like to use some of my sideburns and so I like this so sorry if I'm not looking straight at the camera um, I'm using this also as a mirror as well uh, let's see here and then yeah so that's pretty much there so now I leave this part out pretty much um, because these are actually I did cut um, layers into this wig into this um, U part wig so it kind of blends it makes it helps it blend better so yeah, just make sure this part's out okay now what I do is I go ahead and let's see oh, here you go I use a little hair tie here tie it up and then make a little low twist it like this and then I just kind of wrap it and make it like a little, little bun. And then get my handy dandy bobby pins. I use maybe about no more than three to four just to kind of clip them in, just to pin it and keep it stable. Because you don't want it to unravel and then have it come out and have it seep through okay and then pin one more yeah there you go so that's kind of like what it looks like in the back okay it doesn't have to be perfect or anything because again no one's going to see it so all right so let's go and talk about the instruction the inside of the construction of this half wig so they have we have five clips on the top here okay then we have one clip here one clip here for the sides and then you have one bottom clip here put that down and then you have like these little bra straps like if you were to see a regular um if you were to see a lace wig or a full cap wig, they'll have these little clippy thing, the little straps here to make it tighter. Because this is so loose, I I went ahead and I used little um, bobby pins here to help cinch it in for me. 
just to make it a little bit tighter because again it is it is really it's really big head friendly so uh, which is a good thing so so what I do is I, I, I come from the bottom and then I work my way up so what I do is I clip it here right underneath right there clip it then I bring this up to the top and then you kind of would have to guide because you want to make sure this is centered as best as you can so make sure you do the middle part first clip it clip the sides and do it like that now um, if it's too low or if you've clipped it too low just redo it again and then when you're happy then clip the sides here now what I do is because this part kind of flaps and it gets irritating so what I do is I clip I put a little bobby pin here and I pin it right there okay just to kind of keep it and then you just kind of fluff it out and then you mix it with this part here with your own hair okay then you do the same side on the other side. Yeah, okay. And sometimes you do have to re, you have to redo it, that's fine. There, okay. And see this part here. And sometimes, All right. All right, and then you kind of just pull everything up to the front, kind of blend it together. There you go. Sorry if I'm okay. So this is what, and that's pretty much it. I mean, what you do. I mean, that's how you install. You put it on basically. So um, again, you would want to check right here, like if you have like the pins, the bobby pins. Just feel them. You will feel when I mean when you put your head. You will feel it, but the big the big thing is not to have them be seen. So, yeah. Now, the next trick is to blend your sides with the hair. So what I do is now if I want to go real curly, I do smaller um, sections. But for today. I'm going to do big sections or medium to big sections. So I'll go about to this part here and I will just curl it. to recurl them again especially when I have this part here that I need to blend so what I do here is because because 
because it's my hair is naturally um, fine I do do a little teasing to help blend the top portion here so I do a little teasing here just uh, just enough so when I put it um, I do enough okay okay I mean so sorry um, I tease it enough so I can go ahead and um, how do you put it I can go ahead and um, blend it better okay so here we go now what I'm gonna do I'm going to, I'm just going to do, I haft it and then I curl it. So this is like my lazy way or my quick way of curling my hair and my, my, my uh, half wig, my U part wig. This is my lazy way of doing it. Um, because sometimes I'm in a rush and I just want, I just want waves more. I don't really need like really super curly curls or anything like that, tight curls. So this is what it looks like right now. Like this is a hairstyle, right? Okay. Then I just kind of break it up. And see it has that more f poof here, so it's gonna help with the um, the covering of the band of the of the top of the U part wig. Now I'm looking in the main mirror here. So I'm looking at here. So I'm just gonna do some quick little curls with my own extensions or with the wig. So it does have some blending. Because sometimes it does look segregated and you don't want it to look too segregated. But you still want to know, see the definition of the layers, of course, because that makes it, gives more volume. And gives more volume to your, to your hairstyle. But at the same time, you don't want to look so segregated, so segregated that it will look like there's some extensions or they'll they'll know that it may be not be all your hair. So you do want to have some parts that are that does look that does blend and that's curled together to help it blend better. Because when it's really really okay. segregated. Alright, so what I was trying to say is you want to make sure that it's segregated. Alright. Um so, whew, there you go. So it looks very, 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 um, very volum volum voluminous. This is what it looks like in the back so far, like halfway. Um, so, now today is because I it's an easy day for me today, so I'm not gonna do any crazy crazy looks or like um how do I put it? I'm not gonna do I'm just gonna make it super simple today. So let me see here in my all right, alrighty. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use this little headband here. I like wearing headbands with with the half wigs because it does help. Um, number one, if you don't want to do um, uh, too much blending or too much. Um, you just want to kind of make it real easy. Just put it, slap it on, put put it on, and then um, 
make it blend e how do i not blend easier but how do i say? uh yeah i guess blend easier sometimes wearing a headband kind of does that for you and it helps also to kind of keep your hair stable too so you don't have to put too much like hairspray or you don't have to tease too much to your hair um to really cover the top portion here so this really kind of keeps your hair pulled back so again you want to make sure that you know part because you do have your wig right here so you want to make sure it does go over that wig part and there you go and then you have then you have a style already so I really, I really, 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 really like it. It's very, um, how do I put it? It's just at first effortlessly like done so quickly. And I like the, the uh, U part wigs a whole lot better compared to wearing extensions only because it's so much easier to put on. And um, yeah, I'm gonna fix this a little bit more here and here. Um, it's just so much easier to put on than wearing the extensions because you have to put them in layer by layer. But here, all those layers are done for you. And you know, you don't have to really worry about your own hair on the bottom sticking out. So that also helps too. Now, depending on how short your hair is, you may or may not need to trim your um, or trim or make layers into your uh, U part wig. You may or may not. It depends. For me, I do just so it blends a little bit easier. Um, you know, and it just it looks more effortless for me. So, yeah. I like it. So here, let me show you. Looks like on the back. And then now what I want to do is put some spray on. Here's spray. So I'm going to split it down the middle. And then just spray it. There you go. And there you go. So, yeah, there you go. And if you want to redo it, like do a little piece here, like look at that. It looks a little straight, so you can always do it. And there you go. So there. That is pretty much the the gist of it guys um this is my this is my look um especially you know being pregnant i think it just makes it so much easier um i am oh i'm gonna be almost exactly nine months on tuesday so baby's gonna be coming soon and when i need to get ready for work or just get ready for the day because i want to do some errands and stuff like that i feel like this really cuts a lot of time out compared to putting the extensions on. Again, I love extensions, I love my Lexis, but I am now really, I think I am going back to using half wigs again, especially now. My lifestyle is slowly changing and I'm gonna have a newborn soon, so if I wanted to get myself ready and do errands and get ready to go or get ready to go to work and and stuff like that, I think, um, and having a newborn, having a newborn, uh, with having a newborn, um, addition to your family, it's, does take, you, you want, you don't want to be too much, uh, you don't want to be taking up too much time on one thing, so you want to make sure that, you know, you, you know, you don't stay in front of the mirror all day or a long period of time to get ready. So I think this is a really good way of 
cutting out time, especially with a half wig. It does take some use to, so I mean, you know, especially with where to place it and everything. But once, if you watch like enough, enough YouTube videos, don't just watch one, watch a couple to see how, how um, different people do it. Um, and then, you know, once you get the hang out of it, it becomes real quick. Um, as you can see, you know, it took pretty quickly with me doing it, even with me doing it with, on a, for the video purposes. Um, and yeah, so I really, I really do like this. I think it's, um, it's definitely, it's definitely a whole lot quicker for me and I like it. So I suggest definitely to try, try it out. I definitely do suggest get, definitely get a human hair one. Um, only because you can, that's where you can really alter and change the, um, the, the, uh, patterns of your hair. If you want curly or straight, stuff like that. Um, if you get, there are hue part wigs and half wigs that are, um, synthetic. However, mixing synthetic and human hair sometimes is a little bit more trickier than than you think because your own hair is not as shiny as the synthetic hair so unless you're just showing like tiny little portions like hairline or like around your hairline area then it's pretty that then that's then it's, that's not a big deal but if you're using like a lot of your hair or like the top portion of your hair sometimes it can be a little cumbersome so I suggest definitely getting, and it might be a little bit more expensive, but I do suggest getting the human hair ones only because you have a lot more flexibility with it. And if you need to dye it to match your hair color better, then you can do that. Synthetic, you can't really dye hair. You can't really dye the synthetic hair. It's kind of whatever the hair color is on the synthetic hair, that's the color. I know there are some, there are some ways to dye it, um, but if you don't want the whole point of getting these things is not to have a have a huge hassle you know they're supposed to just you put on your head and you're ready to go so um yeah so i i suggest definitely definitely do a human hair wig i think a human hair um you you part wig i think that's it's a lot easier to do um a whole lot easier and there's a ranges of different um, brands out there too and so I I got the sunny one um, from from eBay so you can check them out there's a lot of like even more of the higher end brands that also have these too so you know whatever you're whatever you're more comfortable with financially um, try them out I, 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 I suggest get a a less expensive one because you got to figure out if this is something that this is something that will fit with with you and with your with you styling your hair and all that, if this is something that you could do like on a regular basis. Um, and so, and then you can work your way up to getting the more expensive ones. But yeah, I like this. It's a, it's really cool. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.